Tonight we have a closer look at a remote part of the world that few people ever see. It's near the North Pole, and global warming is heating it at twice the rate of any other place on Earth. Yesterday, the federal government listed the polar bear as a threatened species because of climate change, but the effects of global warming in the Arctic go far beyond that. ABC's Clarissa Ward traveled near the top of the world where sea ice and wildlife are in danger. Imagine a world with no ice in the Arctic Sea, where you can sail right up to the North Pole. It may not be so far in the future. Sea ice melted at a record pace last summer, and scientists fear it will be worse this year. For the last 25 years, Kim Holmain has been studying climate change in this stunning environment. But part of this beauty is disappearing day by day. What the loss is overall. We visited a glacier to find out just how much it is decreasing. So potentially this time next year, this much of this be, glacier could be... If you were standing right there, you would be that much lower. I'd be that much lower. Receding glaciers and sea ice have devastating consequences for the wildlife here. Take the seal. On a boat trip around Kings Bay, we see only a handful. Where a few years ago, there would have been hundreds. This sea ice is where the seals actually come to have their cubs. And this entire Bay Area used to be completely frozen over during the winter. And as that sea ice has disappeared, so too have many of the seals. One step up the food chain, the polar bear is also in trouble. The sea ice is where it hunts for seals. Scientists who monitor the bears here have been troubled to find bears that are not only starving, but resorting to cannibalism. Scientists currently predict that temperatures in the Arctic may rise up to 13.5 degrees by the end of the century. But Holmain cautions against despair. It's very easy to feel that my contribution is very small, so it doesn't make a difference. But if everyone contributes a little, we've actually done a lot. A small ray of hope for these extraordinary creatures and for all of us. Clarissa Ward, ABC News, Nialison, Norway.